Hoy estamos en Brooklyn para visitar el estudio de Jennifer y Kevin McCoy. Ellos son artistas, son marido y mujer y son referentes de lo que es el arte de los nuevos medios. Exploran cómo a través de la memoria, el lenguaje, la cinematografía, las diferentes convenciones y eh, recuerdos, pensamientos eh, que tenemos. Y bueno, vamos a eh, descubrir con ellos eh, su exploración en el mundo del arte. Vengan conmigo. With the, this is part of your latest projects, your la latest exhibition. So, would you like to share with us a little what it's about, what the exploration was? Well, the research for this project happened when we were living in the United Arab Emirates in Abu Dhabi. Um, and there became this very, uh, there it's very easy to see this huge difference between the places that are for tourism and for sort of national global capital and the landscape, which if left to its own devices is very rugged and harsh. So in the middle of a desert, you see these fantastic, you know, kind of resorts. And so um, a lot of these projects um, have photography taken in, in these areas and then we extend the landscape to show either sort of a prior state or to sort of imagine the landscape kind of reacting back against these, um, you know, these, these areas that are, um, you know, the in-between areas, areas that are between the, you know, beautiful places for tourists and the, you know, very rugged landscape or the, the waste that is created when you make these beautiful resorts. For example, you put like the little sculptures where the second date, yeah. where you kind of theatralize. I don't know how you say in English, yeah, like your 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 own selves. The, those projects uh, where we first put ourselves in miniature in the artworks were a real breakthrough for us, because it showed us how we were implicated directly in the artworks, you know. And before it was um, a kind of intellectual exercise, a conceptual exercise about ideas and putting ideas into a, into a form, um, but we always knew that our own presence was an integral part of it, um, but we just never knew exactly how to bring that into the work. And so to make this sort of um, autobiographical turn and tell stories about our own lives, but tell them Uh, like Jen was saying, in this kind of structured way, in this kind of um, rule-based way, um, uh, was a way to tie it to the earlier work and also to open it up to, um, to be any person's story, you know, the idea of a more kind of abstract story. So it's sort of personal and abstract at the same time. And in a lot of our projects, there's this idea of looking two places, you know, like looking at the screen and then looking at the work and then trying to push those two experiences together and you're constantly kind of verifying, you know, well, this is the fact of the work, but then there's the mediated part and which part do you get attracted to more and how does one live without the other one? Um, and all of those things are really strange. feel that, that uh, reaction you create because you you um, kind of you do it you fire in uh, people's mind all, mm -hmm. all sort of thinking yeah. and as you say this matches with uh, our own the person owns memory or experiences yeah. it's true and it's a non-verbal kind of thing so yeah. you're not really being handed like with literature this way of thinking or talking about it well, we make things to be looked at and so people look at them and then ideas follow. <laughs> and we also try to do a little bit with the reality of the situation, you know, which is why I think the work can really be funny, you know, like this project where the TV is sort of broken. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's meant to look broken, but it's got this flickering image and it's on this sort of, you know, it's a television still operating on this little garbage heap that's here. Um, and so I think the idea is, um, is really the social experience of the digital, you know, the sort of dealing with multiple email accounts and multiple screens and, and not being overwhelmed necessarily, but just trying to question 
how meaning is um, constructed across all of these multiple vectors at the same time, which I think is, is tricky. I think we're, you know, at the limits of our physicality in some ways. but more to an opinion of the contemporary art scene. Like you were mentioned the importance of experimentation. Mm -hmm. well, well, do you see that that is a constant in the practice of the contemporary art? Well, it, I think that right now, you know, the, because the contemporary art scene is, is not just that it's global and that it's so fast, but it just is kind of it works through a set of incessant demands, you know, just one thing after another after another. Uh, and it's easy to fall into that kind of uh, cycle, that kind of system, where you need to come up with a, with a system, with, a, with, a, with an idea, with something that can be easily, you know, a little unit, something that can be easily conceived uh, and communicated and projected, you know, emailed across the world for people to start on, then you can show up and show it and, you know, and, and kind of on to the next one, this little chain of events. Uh, aesthetic experiences that you're producing. So there is a sort of idea of experimentation from the organizer's point of view too, but it's almost like that, you know, Machine. that they have to feed that as well. And so that that demands on the artist to sort of think of something very quickly and, you know, have this sort of media sensation around it is also very high. A very important uh, what you are saying because sometimes from the point of view of the resources there are practices that are outside the market so where the resources come to be able to yeah to to develop those ideas that maybe are not meant to be sell or are not meant to be put in a, in a gallery show yeah and I think there's all different places that these kind of activities happen you know I think there's really interesting things happening in experimental theater now that are much more sort of closely aligned to sort of social practice projects and you know there's projects happening with art and science that we were talking about that are kind of on the edge of you know entrepreneurialism um, you know there's there's a, a wide variety but I think art with a capital A is definitely thought of as an investment strategy um, as much as it is you know a practice these days and we'll see how far that can go. Chao, chao, muchas gracias. Chao. Bye. See you on Thursday. See you on Thursday. <laughs>